scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Luke chapter 3 and verse 21. Pay attention. This gentleman, come. That man lifting your hands. What do you do? Are you a pastor? What's your name? Huh? Who is? I'm not. Who is Abel? What's your name? I'm Abel, sir. Stand up. And it's, what's your, you are, you are together? I want to pray for you. You are young people, but God is going to, there is a training that God is going to submit you to. And I tell you the kind of fire that will come out of your lives. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for this gentleman. Like fire from on high, from today, move to a new dimension. Take that fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 3 and verse 21, please. We are praying. Please pay attention. Luke chapter 3 and verse 21. Please look at your screens. Luke chapter 3. Media help us. There is, my God, there is a prophetic well. There are some of you here, I'm seeing a horn in the spirit. This is what I'm seeing. There are people who are ready to drink of this wine. Students, young people, some of you are not even pastors. Where are they? I stretch my hands. May the horn of the spirit go left and right of this auditorium. Let there be that ordination, that lifting. Bring them out. All over the crowd, there are women, ladies. I see an anointing in this campus and around. The power of God is resting upon you. The horn of the prophetic coming upon your life. Bring them up. So we bow as we enter the throne room and we cast ourselves now at your feet. You are holy, thou art holy, there is none like you in your presence. That is where I must be In your presence That is where I must be In your presence That is where I must be Luke chapter 3 and verse 21 Please give it to us. The Bible says this was the baptism of Jesus.
let me just turn there for the sake of time Luke chapter 3 and verse 21 the Bible says now when all the people were baptized it came to pass that Jesus also look up please being baptized and praying and praying the result the heavens was open baptized and praying prayer is one of the mysteries that controls open heavens and when the heavens were open the next thing we see happening was the Holy Ghost descending access to the spirit access to power through prayer while he was baptized and praying the heavens open is someone ready to pray for a few more minutes I know we're out of time just a few minutes and we're done I like you to lift your voice and begin to pray this prayer is for open heaven so God open heavens greater glory being baptized and praying being baptized and praying being baptized and praying the healing anointing came upon his life being baptized and praying the prophetic mantle came upon his life being baptized and praying the apostolic mantle came upon his life being baptized and praying the grace for speed came upon his life pray Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ifoma? I'm hearing a name Ifoma. Our time is gone. We we'll have time to minister to people. Ifoma, you are wearing a yellow t-shirt. Ifoma. Is there someone like that? This is what I'm seeing in my vision, like orange or yellow, something like that. Who is that? Stand up. What is your name? Let's verify. What's her name? Ifoma. Who knows her here so that you don't think people are... Your name is Ifoma. I want to pray for you. My dear, look at me. The Lord is raising you to be a savior over your family. You may be a lady, but there is grace and fire coming upon you that will translate you to a sign and a wonder. I stretch my hands and I pray for you. May that grace shift you to a level in the spirit that you will become so powerful. In the name of Jesus Christ, drink of that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman here. The power of God is coming on you. You are a campus pastor. But I'm seeing there is a strong healing anointing that is coming on you. This is a campus pastor. Like um, a pastor within the campus. I don't know where that person is but I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, may this mantle of your call and destiny let it locate you now. Let it locate you now. In the name Habadeke Paruska de Devakata. He Baruska de Balaka. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. My dear people, hear me. One of the ways that mighty men are made in this kingdom is by submitting themselves methodically to the ministry of prayer. You cannot contend for genuine spiritual power, power over nations, power over systems. It's not just by laying on of hands. There is capacity that you must build in the spirit. 
no matter what the oil can do if the container is small the oil will not do much I'm sensing in my spirit that there are altars here that the fire has gone down down this was not the way you used to be with God your prayer life was on fire but now all kinds of distractions all kinds of distractions all kinds of distractions resting upon you to distract you I stretch my hands even over your prayer life right now like fire from heaven let that altar parus kadina ka shaneneketebere keta the grace to travel the grace to push through in prayer until you bet realities i stretch my hands all over this auditorium take that grace right now take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ the spirit of prayer and of supplication You call this conference saviors from Zion. Do you know how olive produces oil? The oil that is used to anoint, that oil that was used to anoint kings, to anoint nobles, the olive would pass through a system of crushing and threshing. It is in that squeezing that the oil comes out of the olive. There is a way mighty men are made in this kingdom. God is raising mighty men in this place. God is raising People of fire in this place. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till your life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till you look just like him. God is raising mighty prophets in this place. God is raising of power in this place he won't stop he won't stop till your life looks like him he won't stop he won't stop till your life looks like him hallelujah the lord is asking me to pray especially over students there is the spirit of understanding Ellie who said in chapter 32 and verse 8 but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration the breath of the almighty can make men of understanding the Lord is showing me some of you here you are students you are sincere you are serious but just when it is around the period of exams it's like there is a dark cloud that sits upon your mind no comprehension again i don't know who belongs to that category but i'm praying for you right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of let that dark cloud over your mind be rolled away now let it be rolled away now let it be rolled away now and i impart upon you the grace for extraordinary comprehension in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is healing 
someone there's a lump around the left part of your breast but the power of God is touching you right now bringing you life bringing you healing in the name of Jesus wherever you are I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be healing for you now the last thing I'm going to do tonight and then we're done bring the lady that shouts under the anointing loud to the hearing of everybody the power of God is coming on someone a lady Taking the pain and the sorrow away, you've given me peace undeniable. There's no need to cry, cause you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Yeah. Listen, please let me give you an instruction before I pray the prayer I want to pray. Whether you are an usher or not, please listen. Whether you are an usher or not, please you are going to do the work of an usher and be your brother's keeper. Because there is a mighty deliverance that is going to happen here now. There are altars that have sat on the destinies of people. And these altars are about to be dislodged. I want to pray a very serious prayer. I want you to bring those under the anointing as I pray. But let me tell you this. Please help one another so that there is no chaos. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. There are people here. Listen to me. The destiny you are living is not the destiny ordained by God. There are all kinds of spirit. Yokes of darkness have come to sound a trumpet and a chauffeur to the realm of the spirit that in the name of the Lord God whose I am at the count of three as you shout that name Jesus everything sitting on your destiny and that of your family is about to let you go are you ready now one two three shout Jesus I command every devil I command every spirit out of their lives now out of their destinies now bring them out every familiar spirit every workings of witchcraft tying you down connected to ancestry connected to foundation the bible says blotting out every handwriting every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now we are still praying my God fire is falling in this place hear me there are many of you who have been tied delays all around in school in life and destiny again i'm praying every altar tying you down tying your loved ones down you're going to shout jesus again one two three shout jesus i set them on fire fire i set them on fire by the power of the holy apocalypse hey, get, 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 I bring a rod of fire, a rod of fire, a rod of fire.
power of the Holy Ghost changing your life you came to the house of God you came to encounter the God of the Bible hallelujah now please listen to me listen listen every one of you here we have to end tonight whatever you will do please do not miss tomorrow's meeting i want to share with you a revelation and then we'll pray for the sick and i'm going to be speaking over your life you called for a visitation and thank god for the servants of god and one of the things that will be happening tomorrow is an impartation many of you have seen this in your dreams many of you have seen it in visions it's time for you to access genuine grace genuine spiritual power for the sake of the call of god upon your life for the sake of your destiny can i tell you this there are many of you that will not be able to sleep tonight the angelic activities the prophetic supernatural activities that begin to happen around your life god revealing things correcting things reordering things we have to wrap up everyone please pay attention the last set of people that i want to pray for are those who need restoration of their relationship with jesus and those who have never it will be impossible for it to be that among all of these people scattered here those following online or listening online outside there will always be people who just came casually some of you students maybe some staff lecturers others just people who came within town to celebrate what god is doing listen to me as we approach the coming of christ as we approach the end times the issue of a man's relationship with jesus is a very serious issue it's not the issue of church or religion or pastor the bible says this is the record that God had given unto us eternal life. He says, and this life is in his son, so that he that had the son had life. Let me encourage all fellowships, campus presidents, pastors and leaders, among the many things we do and teach, you must pay attention to the salvation of your congregation. No matter what rema, no matter what dimension, no matter what healing, what prophecy, what miracle. If your people are not saved, they will go to hell. It's as simple as that. And so I want to make an altar call. Now for those who will be coming, some of you will come here, some of you will come there. Be careful not to match those under the anointing. There is a reason why they are there. The power of God is coming on you. And hear me many of you need to make it right genuinely with Jesus genuinely I'm going to count one to five you know you are in this category there's no point lying there's no point cajoling honorably you don't have to enjoy anyone be careful but come and stand here at my left and my right I'll begin my counting now one if you are coming run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand before Jesus Nsuka, are you celebrating salvation? Two. Run to Jesus. Forget about your friend. Forget about whoever it is. And if you come and stand, don't just be looking at me. Begin to pray and talk to the Lord. If you come and stand here, don't just be looking at me. Talk to Jesus. I have come to you. Let's keep celebrating salvation. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. 
I believe in you. Talk to the Lord. Jesus, the Son of God. I believe in you. I believe in you. Jesus, the Son of God. I believe in you. I believe in you. The hymn writer says it pays to serve Jesus, but I add it pays to know Jesus. Listen, my dear ones. You have come before Jesus Christ, the one we serve, the one we love, the one we honor. For many of you, you are coming to him and you're saying, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is the only thing I have to tell you now. The way my life is, I need a miracle. Others are saying, I've laughed at this church thing, but I want to start afresh. It doesn't matter what category you are welcome. The Bible says, as many as will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. All of you who are in front and those who might be following online, lift your hands high to heavens. High to the heavens as you pray this prayer as a sign of surrender. I'm going to lead you to a prayer right now. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Every one of you together, loud say Jesus Lord Jesus I come before you tonight just as I am I admit that I cannot help myself but I believe in you that you are the son of God I believe in you that you died for me Tonight, I believe that you are Savior, you are Lord, you are King. And therefore, I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord, you are my Savior, you are my King. I hand over my life to you in exchange for your own life. I receive the abundance of grace the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life the power of sin Satan hell and the grave are broken over my life from today I am a child of God I go forward ever and backward never in jesus name keep those hands lifted father we thank you for salvation thank you for these ones the bible declares that no man cometh to the father except through the son they have come to you and we thank you for the integrity of your word that declares that when we confess the lord jesus with our mouths and we believe in our hearts then we are saved the Bible declares there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. They have declared your Lordship. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. And I declare that you begin a new, a new walk with God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I commend you to the ministry of the word. And I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I declare that you are built you are established in righteousness 
and you become a mighty tool in the hands of God. The power of sin and Satan like you have declared is broken over your life. From today, you are declared the righteousness of God. Indeed, a new creation in Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Now, please look at me, everyone. Look at me. While we celebrate them, those who are here, just follow some counselors. They will be waving their hands. Counselors, just wave your hands. Let them see you. All of you in concert, let's celebrate them as they go. And those who are here, there will be a counselor at the back. Can you celebrate them very quickly as they follow these people? Is that the best you can do in Sukkah? Let's keep clapping. Let's celebrate salvation. Celebrate them until they go. Now, listen please. Um, at the permission of Reverend Vindiolu, I want to plead that tomorrow, if allowed, every one of you as you come tomorrow, I'd like you to write everything that has troubled your life and destiny. Write it as a prayer request and I want you to bring it here. I'm going to be releasing my faith with you that by the faith of the Son of God and under the corporate anointing, everything that will not let you go and will not allow you experience a new season in your life, it must bow to the name of the Lord. Are we together in agreement? And then please, you can collect the request of others, even your family members who are afar off. They can send it for you. You can write it down and together we are going to pray here. I decree and declare that the Lord bless you. I decree and declare that tonight begins a new spiritual journey. You submit to the making of the spirit and indeed he will make you until you become a sign and a wonder to the glory of the name of the Lord. The Lord bless you and see you tomorrow. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.